for tuning into the show. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It feels like spring. Just it's officially a little bit. this oh Wednesday. Gosh. It's officially this Wednesday. Is that we get when to the have spring, the twentieth, uh -huh. March twentieth. Well, well, it felt kind of like spring turn. this weekend. It was so well, nice. Not that Utah listens to anything on the calendar ever. It's like spring. I'll I'll do winter. Or I'll be done when I say. <laughs> but it is like the weather this week is supposed to be gorgeous. Well, and I just love. I mean, when it was in the fifties this weekend, everyone's like out in short sleeves I riding bikes. And <laughs> I had a tube top on all weekend with my dog, <laughs> rollerblading yes, with that your was dog. Fun. <laughs> my brothers went and bought like this racquetball thing from Big Five. They were so excited. They had saved up all their money. So they got like these all these outdoor toys and we they, my parents like they took over the whole circle where they live. Right. I think our neighbors They're hate us. To be outside. But they, everyone was so excited. Um I ate my weight this weekend and so I wanted to wear like a little jumper and I found an article that sh that talks about like the hate of jeans lately. Oh. And I don't know if you're like me, Jess, I guess you're pregnant, so you're now probably I not get wearing- stretchy jeans, it's amazing. I, I should probably just invest in like <laughs> some <laughs> pairs of those. stretchy, for my food baby. tried on this weekend for the first time, what? and viewers like let me know if you already love them. Khloe Kardashian's brand, Good American, Yeah, it's like one big trampoline. Oh like, really? It was so stretchy. So the, and I mean, from top to bottom, not just in. So the they're leggings backside. or they're actual jeans. They're that, jeans they're that jeans. have like the most stretch I've ever Ooh, put on. I them. literally need trampoline pants because my kids are jumping on my lap. Well, it's true. Like, like this is making more bouncy. <laughs> but if you have to try on jeans, that's so good these to are know. So cozy. Where I've did you find them? I've always been like a dress Nordstrom. person. A Nordstrom. Nordstrom. But I think she has. Does she sell them online too? Like, let me know if you love I'm her sure jeans. I'm sure she does. Yeah. Um, and I've never really loved jeans, so I'm gonna have to go check out that brand. But there's a woman who posted a picture of all of her different pairs of jeans like lined up right on top of each other the story is she her <laughs> name's Chloe and all of these jeans that you're looking at right here are size 12s huh. but look at the discrepancy <laughs> oh, between wow. sizes one of it's them so looks true. like a size 2 right mm -hmm. and one of them looks like maybe much bigger and so she took to Twitter like with this complaint to talk about how retailers just are not aligned as far as sizing goes there's no standardized sizing chart it seems and uh, she's in Europe, but she, like, this tweet went viral and all of these ladies are jumping on board saying, yes, I have been there, my jeans don't fit right, and like going from size to size, feeling like you never really know what your size is because at one store you're one size and then you're like 12 sizes bigger. Do you realize that you love going to the store where you're the smallest size? Yes. And Taylor. Um, is that where you're the smallest? No, I when I need a little confidence boost, I go into Loft or Ann Taylor because I'm like, look at me. You feel good. <laughs> little size. And then I Do walk into H&M and, and, and come back down to life. I'm like, whoosh. H&M, <laughs> they were cited Forever. in this article well, they as should like be. one of the worst offenders. And they should be. I think it's, it's especially time. hard for them because they are a UK brand. And UK sizes are so different than American well, do you remember Abercrombie and Fitch, Brian? That's my like that was my extra magical large, place. Was extra from large, baby no, Barbie. but I will tell you the best thing about that is that was my place to go for my magical size. I was like. I'm this size here. Was it Can I really? Get it? Really? Uh, I still have I'm those. So, so, so bad about tiny. myself. I'm not. I don't even fit in those Abercrombie ones anymore. But I'm still all about. I think I have in my closet. They're about. It was Brian eight, welcoming years old. me in with his shirt off at Abercrombie and spraying cologne on you. Alone <laughs> that I. I always forget that Brian did that. Anyway, so she's calling. Like she's is. asking you want for to see the a big shirt push. off. Is that what the no, shirt's no. all about? <laughs> we want viewers. No, no. Uh, well, we get viewers. I'll tell you that. Keep it on. Keep it on. We want to overload the circuits. Keep it on hotel sweeps. Let's, then we need that. Like warm our way up in the week. It's a Monday. It's a little That's too much. Well, I thought it was interesting when you were showing all of the different pant sizes because I feel like that's what my closet's like and it's not the same size it's because it's different stages of life even over the past five years it's between kids when I'm pregnant Stressful. all of this and I, I found this article well actually our friend McCall sent it to me and because she had seen it on Facebook it's going viral maybe you've seen it it was a woman's article about it's time we start accepting that it's normal that you're gonna have a belly pooch you really are and it's fine you aren't gonna necessarily have a six-pack especially if you've had a baby and it's talking about how we have this idea of getting our bodies back and getting back into shape after baby instead of just accepting that it's not necessarily having to be the same exact shape. And I love that so many um, celebrities have used their platform to be able to discuss this. And I mean, even so Jamie, uh, Jesse James Decker, you've seen her. She's beautiful. She's married to, I think, Eric Decker, yes. who's named the NFL star. Gorgeous couple. She's like still Allie's size, but she's had a baby, so her tummy looks different and she has been 
really empowering women on Instagram by posting these pictures of her post. But you can't get baby back. Belly. There is no back, right? You're can't right. Can't you you try to? Like, I know people who've gotten shifted. tummy tucks yeah. and who've, like, gone I know, to but you streams. still different and than think, before. Like, you're, it's a shift, right? It's, your body, everything shifts. And we've talked before about if you want a tummy tuck, if you want the I, mommy makeup, you, you, you do it. it. You do it. Do you? I'm going to yeah. eventually want that when I'm <laughs> no longer having I'm going a human inside of me. But it was great. I mean, Jennifer Garner told Ellen she has three kids and she said okay well I've had three babies and I still have this bump and this I'm always gonna have this baby bump it's my baby bump there's not a baby in there right now but there were three babies in there it's forever gonna be See, like and that. I haven't had children so I don't feel like I can completely like talk about this but I do feel like like our bodies are so amazing yeah. the fact that we could grow like life in there and bring these amazing like beautiful people humans into the world like I would be proud of that, that well, this, my body did that I did this um, I got to talk to some young women last week about body image and confidence which is something I need to work on we all need to work on um, and I found it interesting when I was like researching for this and finding these articles that um, Beauty Redefined, I'll try to bring this article in soon. It was, um, it's this account that was talking about how we need to start viewing our bodies as an instrument instead of an ornament. Mm -hmm. And I had thought about how I'm the most confident about my body in the past 10 years when I am pregnant and it's because I am so lucky that my body can do these amazing things. I mean, not everyone can have babies. And I am so blessed that I am able to actually do this and perform this. And I'm the most confident when I'm viewing my body as the instrument and wonderful, like, things that it can do instead of how it looks. It's because nobody has a pregnant glow like you. It is true. Do you even have makeup on today? It's like all glowing. Look at that smug face. It's so, I know, yes, I know. I know this no, is my moment. You. Okay, so parenting, <laughs> let's dive in. This blogger took a swipe at all of us, parents out there saying, what's happened? We're morally bankrupt when it comes to how we are raising kids today. And it cited what's been going on with the university scandal. And this is, of course, the cheating scandal, including Hollywood celebrity parents like Lori Loughlin, Felicity Huffman, scamming the system to get their children into elite colleges. And they say, parents, we should use this as a clarifying moment. Too many of us have, quote, completely lost our minds. We're regularly sharing videos on social media of brawls at children's sporting events. Adults oh, are brawl wow. brawling at Pee Wee football matches. It says, and when parents aren't fixing with violence, they're taking the other parent to court. We've forgotten, quote, the entire point of raising kids, imparting good, solid values and bringing up well-rounded members of society. Are we more worried about our kids' Instagram feeds or ours? Instagram-worthy mm -hmm. moments that we need to post, brag-worthy moments. Do we all want to be Kris Jenner and turn our children into billion-dollar businesses or even, I don't know, thousand-dollar businesses? This psychologist said parents and kids experiencing more stress over the past two decades that is directly connected to social media and the need for likes and retweets that we've lost what it means to be a good, is it solid parent. always social media, though, or is it that I want my kid to feel like they won, right? Like to get a trophy at the mm -hmm. soccer game that they didn't really win the championship, right? That everybody deserves some we don't sort accept of immediate gratification. Anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't want you, we, you can't get into the school you want. Well, I'll get you into the one I, like we all want mm -hmm. you to be in mm -hmm. and watch how I do this. This person says, let's be clear. <laughs> you're not a better parent because your child like one, this, that, the other. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you're the better parent. You've got to get back to focusing on the values. If you love your kid unconditionally, if you make sure they're growing up to be good people, you are doing enough. Well, wow. that's what, enough. What's kind of sad this yeah. morning is you hear, obviously, you talked about Lori Lachlan here from Aunt Becky from Full House. Right. There's a video that's now surfacing, talking where she's mentioning she did try to do that. At least that's what she said she tried to do on the surface, right? Just make sure to teach your kids if whatever you do is okay, that's going to be enough. And then on the back end, she's paying people, or at least accused of paying people, $500,000 to get her in to some of these universities. Before we go, I just want to say one quick thing. Um, my hard thing with all of this scandal going on in the news is I don't even know the name of the administrator who is accepting these bribes. It's kind of turned all into the Lori Loughlin. Anything they're talking, it's a picture of her to get clickbait. And I feel like she should be accountable and she should be punished and she's being punished she's legally. She's become and, the face. But she's of become the, the face. And it's what about the guy that did this so many times? Who is accepting How all the How is he not but the he, more focused? It's because, he pleaded, it's because he's made a deal. Oh.
That's why. So like yes, within the legal system. Yes, he's in trouble, but he made a deal to turn in everybody else involved. Okay. And so that's why now the focus has shifted. But you're right. I mean, she paid over a million. Yeah. Her her money amount definitely is picture worthy. But 50, 49, what is it, Brian? What's the count now? 49 other parents? At least 50. More than at 50 least 50 people. 50